Good afternoon to you, Mark. Set of 12, 23 p.m. Eastern Time. I am here in Cedar Key, Florida, where the wind is starting to pick up, the water is rising, and the people have begun to leave. There is not a lot of traffic here at all, very little population here at the moment. Uh, just a few seagulls in the breezy conditions. Check it out, the uh, NOAA, N-O-A-A, -A, has a um, station here for anemometers. That's good. Monitor that if you know how to find that information online. Uh, that should be some great information. Hopefully, it's working. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the camera for this area, uh, the surge cam. Part of me wants to put it over looking at the restaurant area and really get the dramatic effects of the Gulf coming in, but I really wouldn't be able to put a surge marker there because wave action really doesn't count. I want to catch the water coming up, inundation. So I got a little bit of work to do to try to figure out the best placement of the camera here. And I'll do that in the next little while. This is what it looks like in Cedar Key, Florida, as Tropical Storm Hermine closes in on Apalachee Bay later tonight. The latest GFS run coming out right now indicates a very well organized system. Probably going to be a hurricane when it makes landfall. Hopefully it won't intensify rapidly and catch a lot of people off guard. Again, Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com in Cedar Key, Florida. I'll have more for you later.